could do it once. Dust, we are indebted to you for what you've done for us. Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. Actually, maybe you could speak with him? He would never admit it to me, but I just know something is troubling him. Of course. Where is he now? He's been pacing near the west entrance of the village, near the field where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. Awful lizard things! That fuse guy burned down an entire village! Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius' hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. You again. Mayor Bram said you'd left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Denim Village, Ginger, slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, then, for releasing Fuse from his madness. Right before the end, he seemed lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked our village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius' soldiers. Who are you, really? I don't know. That is not an answer! Hey, ease off! Dust can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name! You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry! Fidget, please, calm down. She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius' soldiers. And that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that, especially if they knew I was here. Why is Gaius so obsessed with killing these Moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaius sees them as an impurity, a kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many Moonbloods left outside of their homeland. And it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to dry up completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius' bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. came from the center of the village! Ah! What are these things? Monsters! Ginger, get down! <laughs> That's 
the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm... I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. All right. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Roan Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. <sighs> Mosca, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh? Is... Everything all right? We traveled to Denim. It's been burnt to the ground. What? Oh, no. No, no, no! But there was a note. It's addressed to you, from somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness. She must be alive. She must have escaped. Please, let me see it. What do you think, Mosca? She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove, not far from here. Please, Dust, go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dust starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the screen? He just goes... <laughs> Thanks so much. How are you two whole? Don't worry about us. Ah, Dust. Thank you again for your help. How's your leg doing? I think I'll be all right. Just need some time to think is all. Is there anything else? It sounds like you've got something on your mind. <laughs> it's not obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told Oneida. But I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Oh, and it's valuable? To me, yes. To the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm, just before those creatures chased us back here. With my leg the way it is, I really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really. You don't know how much this means to me. Those monsters really tore the place apart. Hey, Fidget, can you use that sixth sense of yours to find Guillen's watch? Hmm, yeah, actually. I'm getting something from down that big scary hole in the ground. Why is it always a big scary hole in the ground? I'll have to get back to you on that, Fidget. In the meantime, we should clear it out for Guillen and Oneida.